beneath your lies. True love never has to hide. Trade your broken wings for mine. Trade your broken wings for mine. Sing your stars and kiss your kind. Sing your stars and kiss your What's good, gang? How you doing? So, as you can see, I'm in this car by myself. You can hear the GPS going off. That's because I just actually came back from a job interview. Those of you who know me know that I moved out here last year. And um, when I moved out here, I was working in a shelter in New York City making damn good money. I'm not gonna sit here and act like I made the best decisions moving out here to Jersey, cause I damn sure didn't. Um, however, I made the decision that worked for everyone in my family, as far as, you know, making sure everybody had a chance to get to where they needed to get to. And, um, you know, like just being a person to make sure my family's stable. I got experience, um, educated and, um, pretty much get a job damn near anywhere I want only problem is is that I didn't finish my degree so that's an obstacle that is really like throwing me off my game right now because there's a couple jobs that I that I definitely could have gotten and that damn degree is holding me back in New York it's a little bit more opportunity because if your experience is up there and you're trained in most of the programs and things like that you know your degree is cool but Let's just say I was making a lot more money than a lot of people that had degrees out in New York City. You know what I mean? But nonetheless, I'm here. I'm blessed. I'm driving back home in my own car, something I didn't even have when I had a huge income. Um, you know what I mean? It's something I felt like in New York I probably could have never afforded because uh, the lifestyle of a car is a little bit different than being out here. Like, I don't have to get up and go to the other side of the street parking every day and don't have to worry about parking at a meter and all that other stuff you know what I mean everything is pretty much houses and stuff out here so you park on the street you park on the street it is what it is and most of the time be honest you ain't taking your car to work anyway unless you work in an area that's more you know suburban and you can make those types of moves or if, it, if your job has a, a parking area but nonetheless I just came from an interview I'm not going to tell you guys where my interview was because I am a firm believer in, um, you know, just keeping certain things to myself, putting certain things out there in the atmosphere. You know, a lot of people who's out there praying for your downfall, so I give you limited information to keep to yourself for the most part, but I mean, other than that, it is what it is. Um, yeah, so... So it is. I've, I've started on a new, another new venture as well. Um, I don't know if some of you follow me on Snapchat and things of that nature, but um, along with vlogging, I've been doing a little bit of videography, and um, I actually work with a female who's probably a lot more known than I am, and she goes to um, some, you know, events and she does her own vlogging, and um, her name. I can't remember her name right now but she works for urban girl magazine and um shout out to lama lama who actually put me in a position to have this opportunity and actually to meet and network with people you know what i mean because i, I like i said i'm coming out here in jersey i really don't know too much of what's going on i don't know too many people and i know a lot of people have a lot of connections and things of that nature out here in jersey that's from out here in jersey um if you know me back in New York, I was doing the whole party thing. Um, my best friend, he's a DJ. So I've been doing that with him. And I've been doing a lot of networking in that field. Uh, met a lot of nice people. Uh, was able to swap numbers with some producers and some people who have studios. And people who are out here trying to fulfill their dreams independently. Uh, we put on showcases in New York City and different clubs. Uh, where well, we had artists like Y King, my boy out of the DMV area, who's making a name for himself. Um, we put on um, Slugger Man. Slugger Man is also my DJ's cousin. He's also out here making a name for himself, making videos and putting himself on the map. Um, 
my boy Zelly, um, he's been a he's been real quiet lately, you know what I'm saying? But he's another cat that's out here doing his thing, you know what I'm saying, with the music. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming he's back out here in New York. But he was out, you know, in, in another state doing his thing, trying to get his stardom popping. So, you know, like, I've had a, a lot of connects, and I work with a lot of people. Um, I've worked with a lot of known DJs, you know what I'm saying? Like DJ Smooth Ski, my DJs work with. Um, he's DJed alongside... Um, who else? Um, like I said, DJ Smoothski. He's done things with DJ Hollywood. DJ Hollywood, old school DJ. Who pretty much doesn't get the props that he deserves that his part in the rap game. You know what I'm saying? But he, we, we work with some people, man. We, we've got our name out there. So now that I'm out here in Jersey, I'm really out here working on trying to fulfill my dream. I'm out here working on really just trying to make things happen for my family. Uh, we, we doing a lot of big things out here. You know what I'm saying? We doing a lot of big things out here. Turn right. Um, I'm trying to put together uh, um, uh, uh, an extension to the vlog where me and Danielle are pretty much doing like together things but we're also doing things separate because yes we're married and we'll be talking about a lot of couples issues and doing things as a couple but at the same time you know we got our own thing danielle um you know she's in the middle of right now trying to finish up her book um if you know danielle's been working on her book for a long time and it's taking her some time simply because you know shit is hard you know what i mean Especially when you're writing a book like her called Dear Mommy when it's talking about your past and things that you didn't know and things that you did know about your life. It's a little bit hard to sit there and, and actually go through that in your mind over and over again. You know what I'm saying? She she finally met her dad, so she was able to get other answers to questions that she had no idea to. Um, I mean, she found out some things she she knew that she knew that she didn't quite have the full story to, and then she found out some things she didn't know that she had no clue to, and that was being held by the family. Like, you know, we all come from different backgrounds, and like I said, everybody's family is different, and, and when it comes to me and her life, me and her life is also different. Um, so, with that being said, we're trying to, you know, do some joint things, do some separate things. Um... And that's about it. Um, yeah, I mean, she, she's working on the book. We've been going over that, editing, putting things into places, taking things out, uh, rearranging things. Um, you know what I mean? And look out for that. That's coming out. We got a deadline. I believe she said her deadline for the, for the book is April. Uh, so, I mean, that, that, that means that I have my work also cut out for me as far as helping her edit and you know, find publishing and find companies. To be honest with you, we're really working on being independent, you know what I'm saying? Taking all our bread in and putting people in positions that need to be put in positions and things of that nature. So, you know, we working on that. We working on that, trying to really like, um, you know, get things together. Oh. Trying to really get things together and, um, you know, get this shit popping, man. It's time to get this bread. It's time to get this money. I don't know about y'all, but I don't like working for people, man. I'm an independent person. Since I've been out here, I've been pretty much working for myself. I haven't get, been putting my time and my, my effort into nobody else. I like my own schedule. You know what I'm saying? I just don't like putting all this mileage and shit on my car. So with that being said, I'm just looking for something where I could kind of spread my wings and have something that I'm not really putting that big strain on my car. It's cool being your own boss, but it's even better when you got the backing and you got the money for all these independent things that you want to do. Excuse my hand in the camera. I'm trying to get this elite parking. Because, you know, I'm an elite driver. But, um, yeah, so... You know, it's even better when you got back in or when you have a means of extra income to do all these things. So, yeah, but I'm out here a little dressed up and all that, trying to get my clothes and stuff together. Pulling up early on wifey before 
She has to get herself ready for work. See what she got upstairs going on. Hopefully she surprised me with some breakfast. You have a beautiful, loving wife like mine's. You never know what she gonna get, so. I'm gonna sneak up on her upstairs. I don't think she know I got the vlog going. But I'm gonna sneak up on her upstairs, see what she got going on up there. She's supposed to be straightening up the house, so I don't know how things gonna look when we get up there, but let's take a look. So I put you guys on pause so that I could actually get in, get out the car and get into the building without all the distractions and stuff. And I see the camera in all kinds of different weird positions and stuff while I'm trying to get out, but we gonna sneak upstairs today and see what she got going on up there. I know she probably look crazy because she got to work today. So she trying to handle all her wifely duties and things like that. Jaden's out of school for the week. So I know she's upstairs. She probably looks a little crazy. House probably looks a little crazy. But let's go in here and sneak up on her. And see what the hell she got going on in this house today. <sighs> Sad, I've been living somewhere for a whole year and I still go through all my keys trying to find the right one. Well, let's see what the wife is doing. I told you my house probably looked crazy, but hello, wife. Are you? Um, thingy on YouTube? Yes, I am. Come here. I was trying to go on YouTube and I had to delete a bunch of stuff. She did? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. She making. I'm making some bacon. Bacon. You want the same thing you had yesterday? Or if you, you want... know me, you know I love me some bacon. Yeah, she loves Yeah, so I want the same thing I had yesterday. Can you stay okay. in the kitchen with me? Uh, I can't promise you that. So then can I have the phone? No. <laughs> Please? I told you she looked crazy, y'all. I don't care. This is my vlog. Thank you. This is, look, 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 look. That's how we're handsome. Hi. He looks just like his mommy. Yeah, I see that. And I love you too. I love you too. And these are my babies. This is my family. I'm missing Kaya. Missing Kaya. I go home tonight. My God, baby Kaya. Love you. Is that coffee? Yeah, would you like some? Oh, coffee. Would you like some butter Ooh. in your coffee? No. You don't want a, a coffee shop? No. All right, so come here. I would, can I please go in the room? Can I take my stuff off? I was going to help you take it off. Oh, okay, see, I didn't know. See, I'm trying, see, I'm to, trying to come wife. in. I'm trying to get settled in. You already being a wife. You holding down breakfast. You can hold down breakfast. I'm trying to be nice wife and not just the I don't know how wife. I feel about the almond milk and the coffee. I didn't really like it the other day. Are you serious? No. There's no other milk. I know. So you don't want the coffee? I don't know. I'm picky. Yes, make the coffee, wife. I can definitely use it. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> but keep your eyes on the prize here. Thank you. What's the prize? Don't start acting like that when this was your suggestion. So don't do that. Hello? Yeah. So, anyways. I'm here in the room. Wifey wanted to make our own vlog. She told me to vlog before I got here. Now she's acting like I'm being selfish. Because I, I told her that this was my vlog. Selfish. So now her and my son wants to go make a vlog on their own. We was already oh, doing it's all that. Good. No. Oh my no. God. No, not it's all good. Jaden, do me a favor. Get the, put this the garbage inside of that trash for me. Please. However, I'm going to continue walking around the house. See, I was being all nice, giving all these compliments and stuff. And then you see how I get upstairs and you see how they... I was giving you mad compliments too on our vlog. So now you want to be mad because your, your phone's acting up? Yes! That's not my fault. You should fix it. I did what you it. told me to do. But you didn't fix it. You told me you was going to fix it. My house is looking 
It's not bad. It's no, not bad. Not the house. I told him you would probably be looking oh. crazy. I am looking crazy. So, babe, do you want? But it's okay. She's home being a wife. And she still has to work today, so. So, babe, do you so want do coffee or not? Yes, I'm going to drink coffee. I um, drink my coffee. I'm not a big fan of almond milk in my coffee. Maybe my cereal, things of that nature, my oatmeal. You know what, babe? I don't have any more coffee. But, I drink all mine. But on another note, I'm going to enjoy my wife for the rest of the day. Yes, because I got to go to work by she has to go to work. And I'm going to say goodbye to you guys. And when we come back, she'll be looking all dapper, Dan, and stuff. Hopefully. And um, hopefully we can give you a better yeah. vlog for Follow the day. With some good stuff. Okay. We love you. Love you, gang. Mm. 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 Ew. Mm. Ew. Give me kisses. Kisses. Okay. I, love, I, lo I loved you. I loved you, too. Okay, give me a hug. Okay. And then you can hang up. Mm. We love each other. Sometimes. <laughs> okay, let me wash my hands.